Here we go. All right, so we had the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. That, I think, is the final outcome here. Um, we also did draw the Two of Wands and the Ace of Cups as well. Two of Wands. Two past decisions, options, planning. Suddenly leaving, <laughs> deciding to stay or go. Anticipation, restlessness, detachment. So, two paths is what feels right there. And the Ace of Wands would lead me to believe that there's two routes to success here. And, um... Maybe that there's options within the relationship, too. Maybe after discussing comfort levels and things like that. But there's choices. And I think I'm going to reshuffle real quick. We dropped a lot of cards there. But I'm not sure. Every time, every time I reshuffle, sometimes the energy changes. It's not always the same stuff going on. But I guess that's the whole message is the message thing. If I'm supposed to deviate and change topics, I'm not going to fight it. But I am interested. Huh. The Ten of Wands. Actually, that's a topic I want to explore. What are the burdens regarding our last reading, Spirit? The Hierophant, the Ace of Wands. Burdened by Hierophant energy and a passionate new future. Is that fear? Whoa. That was a lot. That one too. What is this? Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. Five of Cups, Grief, Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Swords. So this new beginning with Hierophant Energy is being stalled by the overburden that the masculine feels. He feels left out in the cold and he's in, in grief or a state of loss. The Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Swords. Maybe that he knows which direction to go already. Could be the divine timing again, maybe? Maybe he's still Six of Cups. Is this his current state? And that's why it's a matter of divine timing, because he's still healing? Death. So the death, for a yes or no question, usually indicates no which would tell me that the transformation has already occurred. Might be that he's still in the process of stripping away um, what no longer serves. If he's trying to get rid of anything that might cause conflict before making any kind of approach, that could be what that is. There was a three of cups on the bottom. Maybe third party still a factor. a lot. The Hermit, Eight of Swords, Temperance, and the King of Swords. So, he's been isolated healing, trapped in his head. We saw that in a previous reading, the burden there was him being trapped in his head too. But Temperance indicates balance, and the King of Swords... He's leaning into his structure, his routine, his, his logic, 
And um, he's utilizing detachment, I think, in a healthy way in order to navigate the situation. The Queen of Pentacles twice, Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands. Why do we see both the King, I mean the Queen and, a Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups here? Hell no. Okay. I'm just gonna take the face up ones. Two of Cups, High Priestess, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. So, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups are both on the board with the Nine of Wands. A passionate new beginning, the Twin Flame card, the High Priestess, meaning we, we somehow deep down, I think, know what's going on and haven't put it together. Three of Swords is heartbreak and Four of Cups is not seeing something, not being aware, not being interested, maybe. But I feel like there's something I'm missing here. There's some information I don't know. Two of Pentacles. Juggling, partnership, balance, ups and downs, adaptability, flexibility, juggling life. Huh. Three of Wands. The Ace of Swords. New ideas. Is this a, some kind of compromise? Three of Pentacles is teamwork. Not that one. This one. Okay, so that's that card says yes. Um Teamwork is involved here somehow. The Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords surrendering to the situation. Does a comic want to make peace? Is that what this is? Um, the Sun. Hope, optimism, happiness. The Magician, this is a manifestation, and The Fool, a new beginning. I don't really understand what's going on with this dynamic right now. Hmm. This is interesting, though. There's clarity that needs to be had here. We need to understand. And we've got the devil now. This is potentially not a great situation, but we also got the sun. Six of pentacles and the seven of wands defending, defending what you want to give. a lot of cards. I'm going to take the chariot and that'll be our final one. It would seem that there's some kind of peaceful outcome here that could potentially involve the third party that we've been seeing. Um, it seems complicated and I don't know enough details to say whether this is going to be healthy or unhealthy. Uh, but that's what that looks like. I might do another part on that dynamic in and of itself because I don't really understand it all the way. Um, thanks for watching, guys.